Alex Polizzi is an award-winning hotelier with over 20 years' experience working in the world's most luxurious hotels. Born into the legendary Forte Hotel dynasty, she's on a crusade to transform Britain's most desperate hotels and B&Bs. From outrageous owners... I can smell two big melons. <laughs> ...to dodgy decor... Has the world gone mad? <laughs> Nothing escapes the hotel inspector's beady eye. Toast is not an option. What have they got against toast? Or her quest for perfection. I actually feel really quite sick now. Just... I don't care if you agree or disagree, just try it. This week, the hotel inspector's patience is put to the test. They're painful to work with, Lisa and Ellie. As she tries to ring the changes at a B and B. What we couldn't understand Just is why you would suggest that. Frankly, I'm not throwing any more money at the problem. We've done that. We're not going back there. Maybe you should think about what the hell you're going to do. Has Alex finally met her match? I want to fight. This hasn't been the easiest working relationship. No, we're yeah. not happy at mm. all. I frankly can't be bothered anymore. Port Talbot, epicenter of the Welsh steelworks industry, and where the traveller will find Mountain View. A B&B, &B, and home to a Welsh native. Welcome to the madhouse, everybody. An American. I'm going to feed the birds now. Two dogs. And a plethora of pigeons. Mountain View's the creation of ex-social worker Lisa Tolland. She is alpha. No. Yes. Tell you like that. And former private investigator Ellie Klein. There you go. Many guests ask me if I'm Native American, and I tell them absolutely in a past life. <laughs> They've spent the last 10 years building their business. I'd worked with people like for 20 years, and I've just had enough of people, basically. I'd had this idea about Port Talbot going to become a tourist place. I thought, oh yeah, I could, you know, be the first B&B place in Port Talbot. And all my friends just laughed at me. <laughs> she was sure that the tourists were going to come flocking. Yeah, yeah, well. We knew nothing about running a B&B. But how hard could it be? The first thing that's unique about it is us. Well, no, speak for yourself. We have, we have you strong personalities. You have to say I. You have to say I. I have a strong personality, and so does Lisa. <laughs> I think the blend of Welsh and American makes it special. This is a Native American storyteller. Birds. They're hers. Nothing to do with me. <laughs> If you research pigeons, you will find that they are very intelligent birds. They can learn letters of the alphabet. They can do all sorts of things. <laughs> a few people don't like us at all, and I think a lot of it has to do with the dogs. Callie, be a bear. Good girl. Inca, be a bear. Oh, she's good a good bear. Girl. <laughs> Look at those little faces. They're our life. <laughs> our dogs are in there, just... Nobody could tell us to get rid of the dogs. <laughs> the charms of Port Talbot are yet to be discovered by tourists. But Mountain View was doing a roaring trade with visitors to the nearby National Park. When we first opened, we did have a significant number of mountain bikers. But um, it's diminished significantly. Reduced, yeah. Losing such a key market has hit them hard. I had to dip into personal funds this month to uh, pay the mortgages yesterday. We've hit a bit of a brick wall now. We need to push through that wall. 
I really wanted to work because I don't want to go back and work for somebody else. That to me would feel like failure. <laughs> Tasked with bringing about change, the hotel inspector. I was expecting, frankly, a bit more mountain and a bit less steelworks. Um, something is implied in the name, which I'm not quite finding in this landscape. Now I'm really nervous. <laughs> there are a rather repulsive number of pigeons pooing all over the wall and whatever lies underneath. It's slightly forbidding, actually. I mean, I have no idea what awaits me inside. I think she'll like it here. I can't imagine not liking it here. My Jewish grandmother would say, so what's not to like? <laughs> so <it's laughs> Hi. Nice to meet you. Come Thank on in. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me close the door. It's cold out it's there. It's nice and warm in here. Thank you. Let me get you checked in. Lovely. Thank you. Follow me. Top of Alex's list. Pinpoint why Ellie and Lisa have occupancy problems. This is the main bathroom. Thank you. And the light switch is in the hall. It's out here. At £25 per night, cost isn't a concern. Lovely. Very nice indeed. A lovely bright room. I hope you'll be very comfortable in Thank here. Thank you, darling. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Thank you. This is a very pleasant room, lots of light. It seems very clean. Cups are immaculate, tissues, water. I'm sure she'll find things that are wrong, but she certainly won't find rooms where we haven't tried. I mean, honestly, this would be a very good place to stay for a couple of nights, certainly for anyone on a budget. Ready? Catch. Whoops. Almost. Kind of, again, quite pleasant. <coughs> Twin room. So far, I mean, I think the biggest shock is that the, the name Mountain View gives you a, an expectation which isn't exactly met. The hotel inspector's snoop moves online. <coughs> Not for us two over-friendly dogs. The owner's dogs were barking and got my nerves. Not a place of peace and comfort. We checked out 15 minutes after arriving. Dog seems to be quite a big issue here, clearly. I don't particularly want a dog poking his nose in my crotch every time I walk through a door. Call me old-fashioned. Hasn't even bought me a drink first. <laughs> so, can I just ask, what do you want from this b, &B? I want it to be the best or as successful as it can be. And you? I'm not unwilling to change. Uh, I like the all. double negative. <laughs> no, no, I am willing to change. Yeah, okay, good. But I, but I would want to be able to embrace what we were changing to. I mean, that's yeah. the hardest yeah. thing for me. If I come in and then every suggestion is met with howls of outrage because kind of then, you know, what's the point of me being here? I think we need to make sure that you can compete with the other B&Bs in the area and hope There really aren't any other B&Bs in this area. There are, actually. There's 17 other establishments. I'll stay tonight, I'll have breakfast in the morning, and then hopefully by then I'll have a plan of attack for you. But it will involve change. I'm warning you now. Is this my breakfast menu? Yes. I'm going to have scrambled egg and tomato, thank you very much. Is that all? I don't think change is going to be easy. They spent nine years making this place, thinking that this place is OK. I think Ellie, despite being the kind of cuddly one, might be. 
the brick wall that tries to stop me. <laughs> I'm willing to have somebody take a look and give me their opinion and listen to it. And we'll wait and see what happens tomorrow. We may not be seeing this the end of tomorrow. No, we may not be. You know, I'm just feeling terrified. I think we can change. It's a question of if we decide that we're willing to change. I'm not going to go jumping through hoops for people. Can Alex deliver her most drastic plan yet? I totally disagree. About which bit? About any of it. I'm stirred up, yeah. I want to fight. Alex Palizzi has checked in at Mountain View, Port Talbot, where owners Ellie and Lisa have already made it clear that change is up for debate. No, I like change, but I like to be in control of what's changing. Nobody likes a whiner. I didn't say that. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. Conveniently located near a national park, Mountain View once welcomed a brisk mountain biking trail. Mountain biking staff, mountain biking trail maps. Gosh, that's all nicely organised. It's Alex's job to bring them back. The fact is, they chose to open a B&B in an industrial town. And that's fine. We just need to make sure that we're attracting <laughs> the right kind of customers for this environment. Don't lean back if you're my food. God. Breakfast is when you have a chance to show your guests how much you love them. It's a very important part of the whole experience. Otherwise, people might as well just go for self-catering. Why would they pay the extra money for bed and breakfast? Berated by Ellie for pre-ordering a skimpy breakfast last night, Alex has decided to upgrade to the house special. Careful. Port Talbot's take on the breakfast burrito. How many of us are supposed to be eating that? Twelve. <laughs> this is a very hot plate. Thanks, Please darling. Be careful. Lovely. Thank you very much. Lovely. Yum. It's enormous. Not really what I'd expect to find in Port Talbot. What do your guests usually think of your breakfast? We haven't been doing breakfast for a while now. Breakfast is a complicated issue because we are a bed and breakfast. We just don't do breakfast. At the moment, when people call, I'm saying we can provide you with a kitchen. Right. Apparently, the breakfast down so there no is delicious. So no one moans about it. No. So. So it's just this. interesting, darling, because you do advertise yourselves as a bed and breakfast. I know we do, but. I don't know what else we can advertise ourselves as. I'm always worried about our star rating. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, how we, we have to be called to bed and breakfast to get those stars. You get rated under a whole load of different categories. Oh, absolutely. So, so you could get rated as a five-star, you know, guest accommodation. Do you see what I mean? Oh, <laughs> we didn't know that. Yes. Alex really likes your burrito, Lise. Okay, good. Well, I am honoured indeed in the fact that I was allowed to have breakfast here. I told her my concern about not being on the Visit Wales website, which I know you don't care about. I don't care about. No, I know I that, care. but I can, I'm concerned I about that. And she agreed with me. She thinks oh, it's important. I still think that's a lot. Of but she says that we can just be categorised as something other than bed and breakfast. Oh and maybe be four or five stars, and uh, not serve breakfast. I know, but I don't want to go jumping through hoops for people. We uh, wouldn't have to jump through any hoops. It would be the oh, same. Oh, like, like it was? It would be the same inspection that they come do every year anyway. I you thought wouldn't we have agreed, anything to do with it. <laughs> I thought we agreed we weren't going to be doing all that nonsense anymore. I've just had a lovely making a breakfast. I'm all calm, and now it's stressing me out. I'm sorry. I was happy in my kitchen, doing my thing. It's not funny, Ellie. Yeah? They have to be honest about it. They can't call themselves a bed and breakfast if they're only giving one B. I don't think that there's anything to stress about. I think you're imagining stressors. 
Ellie and Lisa may not feed their guests, but they're happy to feed the pigeons. We've created this to be kind of a little sanctuary for birds. Flying rats. Yes, yep. what you call term flying Look rats. At them. Look how fat they are. Guys, They're this is fat. us. They are big fat. I'm surprised they can <laughs> fly. Jeez, Louise. That's Say amazing. hi to Alex. So I'm going to feed these guys because they look hungry to me. Yeah, they look starving for little <laughs> fat boys. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> there, there. <laughs> Good Lord. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> Not mad about the pigeons, I must say. Everybody share. They're like Dr. Doolittle, talk to the animals. Retreating indoors, Alex's appraisal of Mountain View turns to business. So this is the nerve centre of this operation. <laughs> it absolutely is the nerve centre. Is this your bookings book? This oh, very is very high tech. <laughs> high tech bookings book. What the book does reveal is there's much more to Mountain View. There are another three houses, all self catering. This is this house, the main yeah. house. This is the garden house. Yeah. This is the townhouse. Yeah. And this is the beach house. Right. The townhouse, the rooms are numbered one, two, three, and four, and there's a flat downstairs. Oh my gosh. So this is how we keep track. Well, look, I'm going to go to quickly see the beach house because this is kind of B and B, and the others are self catering. When I come back, hopefully, I will have a master plan to lay before you. Possibly one of their problems here and the reason that they have such low occupancy is that they're not really clear about what they are and what they're doing. Five minutes away, the self-catering unit they call the Beach House. It's not entirely sure that this looks like my idea of Beach House. For some reason, I imagined it being on the dunes with a view of the sea, possibly. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder whether it wouldn't be better for Ellie and Lisa to downsize to here and to leave their whole house as a self-catering accommodation. Two properties next to each other, be easier to look after. And it could then cater for quite big groups. I just think two dogs do not mix with bed and breakfast guests. And I just think they need to separate them out a bit. If only they could bring the pigeons here too, then life really would be perfect. Feeling a little nervous about what the plan might be. It's like waiting for the truck to hit us. <laughs> We're standing in the middle of the road, and here it comes. I'm slightly nervous. I've never, um, I've never usually had to say what I'm going to say to them. So, I think we've got some quite clear decisions to make. It seems clear to me you're not running a B&B. I'm wondering why you don't decide to make all your accommodation self-catering. And I would suggest using this whole unit of self-catering accommodation and moving back to the beach house, which would have the effect of also removing dogs from your customers. They're quite big dogs, they're quite intrusive dogs. Many, many people really like the dogs. I, I know, but of the negative comments, 100% of them mention the dogs. Yes. But even more than your dogs, I do have a problem with the pigeons. I don't want to be in an environment where, as a guest, where pigeons are being fed. Alex believes that being self-catering could tempt back some much-missed trade. I would love to try and turn this back into a mountain biking destination. But we've been there with the mountain bikers. I feel like we've done that, we're over that, we're not going back there. OK, well, then I misunderstood. I thought you weren't happy about the fact that there were no more mountain bikers. We're not bikers. happy about we're the fact because we it. thought that that was going to be the bulk of our business when yeah. we started out. But the trend, for whatever reason, has moved on. The mountain biking season is very long. 
Yes, it is. And it's kind of constant. Yes. Yeah, and they don't mind could, what the weather it, it, is. Exactly. And if we could get a share of that market, make sure we provide them with the facilities that they need, then I see no reason at all why you shouldn't get a, 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 a share of that. Now, 120,000 people visited the How park. do we compete with all the other self-catering accommodation which is situated directly on the trails and right near to the park. You're in town so although you think that you're losing out you've got something different to offer. We've tried to capitalize on that and that doesn't seem to... The reason that all these places are opening is because there's so many people coming to do it. I mean they're not opening because there's there's nobody here. They're opening because 120,000 people came to mountain bike at the park no. last year. Well, we need to grab you that share. I would like my input to be towards trying to help you fill this place with groups. I totally disagree. What most of our trade is, is single people. What I'm concerned about is if we become self-catering only, then we're cutting ourselves out of... But you are self-catering only. Well, <laughs> except we can take single people. But you could take single people now. Well, no, that's, that's words. You yourself said you hope this is going to become a tourist destination. This hasn't become a tourist destination. I might totally accept that. Now, if you don't want mountain bikers, which is a big group of who is filling the accommodation market here, maybe you should think about what the hell you're going to do. Because, you know, I can't magic customers out of nowhere. I have to work with customers who are coming here already, whether it's dog walkers, mountain bikers or druids. I'm not convinced. About which bit? About any of it. OK. I'm not quite sure where we go from here. Oh, God, that was hard work. Which bit of what I said was unreasonable? I definitely, absolutely do not agree with what Alex is saying about the dogs. I can't believe that somebody can tell somebody else that. It just well, it doesn't, it doesn't cross my mind. She didn't tell us to get rid of the dogs, she, but she told us to move so well, she that told they to get rid of us. She yeah. doesn't want to just get rid of the dogs, she wants to get rid of us as well. <laughs> I don't care about the negative comments. Those people can go elsewhere. The dogs are going nowhere and we're going nowhere. They've got cheap guest accommodation. I just need to try and get them more customers. Surely that's what they want? At least that's what you think. I want to fight. I'm stirred up, yeah. Yeah. The hotel inspector faces an uphill struggle. You said the dogs are I, dirty. You asked me to come, I gave my opinion. Pigeons! Be gone! Alex Polizzi has delivered her battle plan, Port Talbot B&B &B Mountain View. Mountain View B&B, at least, speaking. But her advice has hit a nerve with owners Ellie and Lisa. She told us to move so well, that she told they would... to get rid of us. Yeah. She doesn't want to just get rid of the dogs. She wants to get rid of us as well. Next morning, Alex returns. Last time I saw Ellie and Lisa, they were disagreeing with everything I said. Hopefully they've calmed down a bit and are prepared to be reasonable. So, go ahead. Tell me what you think. Well, we talked a great deal last night. Mm. And what we have here uh, is a business that's working. It doesn't need to be fixed. And what we felt like yeah. was that there were lots of just niggly little things. I mean, suggestion that we move out of this house and move somewhere else so that we're not with, we're that not. That wasn't a little, I don't think well, that's a little niggly. So that we're not. Thing. I was giving you my opinion of how we could get more business for you. But I'd yesterday said you said the dogs are I, dirty. All it's I was saying is I thought it might appeal to more people more of the time if you had the dogs out somewhere else. 
I thought, yeah, great, so I can make the business bigger. I can give you a bit more space, get you to have more privacy, have the dogs have more room, get more business in, find it easier to market. This was my progression of thought. Well, we couldn't understand just didn't why make you sense. would suggest that. We don't have a problem with the way with it is now. But well, it I've explained to you the when... progression. We've talked We're concerned about very calling clearly about being all self-catering, and we as like the title. Do you mind? No, I'm sorry. We are struggling with this breakfast or no breakfast yeah. thing. But if you want to stay as a B and B, you have to offer something, yeah. uh, even if it's the cereal toaster with some sliced bread on the table. I mean, if people don't eat it, then they don't eat it. I mean, but you have to offer it. We're very happy to do that. Okay, well then Absolutely. that's easy. Can I be clear? I'm not going to impose anything on you. I suppose we did, we reacted, you know, whoa. It was like, <clears throat> you know. I understand you know, that, darling. Not... You're very clear, and I understand that. Working with Lisa and Ellie is quite hard. They're kind of very chippy. I think they did mishear what I would said to them. Hopefully, they now uh, trust me a bit more. Now that I'm on their side, I'm not going to force them into anything. It's a warm, fuzzy feeling to be listened to. And I felt like she was listening to us. <laughs> I'm just cringing at this warm, fuzzy... You know, we don't do warm, Cut fuzzy... Cut the warm, fuzzy We don't feeling. do warm, fuzzy feelings, Ellie. <laughs> Cut that out, please. It feels good you to know, be we listened don't, to. Yeah, it does feel good to be listened to. But, but forget that the warm, fuzzy feeling is not, it's not something I want or I want to be associated with. Cut the warm, fuzzy feeling. Okay. And we're going to argue now. So the other thing we need to discuss is how we're going to give you a little bit of a facelift. The way that it looks on the road is quite forbidding because you've got that quite cheery yellow, but you've got the very dark fence. And I'd like to bring in some colour. And with a new signage outside on the buildings, you should have a really good look. Sounds wonderful. You've agreed to get rid of the pigeons? Absolutely. There'll be no more pigeons um, no. to ruin no. the paintwork next time. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you're quite happy with the kind of, with the ideas? Yeah. I am. Good. I'm quite happy. Lisa and Ellie seem very much more on board now. But I'm not entirely sure giving the place a little facelift from the exterior is going to be enough to really alter this business. True to their word, though, Ellie and Lisa stop feeding the pigeons. Pigeons, be gone! And they went. They've all gone. Lisa! Alex wants Ellie and Lisa to relaunch themselves as a smarter budget offering. But a question still remains. Who to? Ellie and Lisa say they want help, but reject everyone else's suggestions. You kind of try to feed into the narrative, only to be met with a wall of resistance. Alex still believes winning back a share of the mountain bikers who flock to the area is key. But she knows Lisa thinks she's wrong. There's clearly enough business for everyone who wants to be in the game. I need to make sure that our Mountain View b, b has the facilities necessary to attract mountain bikers. What I'd really like to know from you is what's a mountain biker looking for when they come and stay somewhere like this? We're pretty simple Are people, you? to be yeah, honest. It's, nice. it's not hard to please a mountain biker. Uh, all they're really looking for is somewhere to store the bike, because, to be honest, the bike is often worth more than the car. And if you don't have the bike, that's ruined the whole weekend. Yeah. And somewhere to be able to clean yourself and somewhere to be able to dry your kit off and, you know, just somewhere clean to really bed down the majority of the time, because the majority of your time you're out, you're riding your bike, and you try to make as much use of your time while you're here. While Alex works on bringing back custom, she's got Lisa and Ellie to agree to the idea of renaming. This is exciting. How are you yet? Yeah? we go see what's about to happen. Oh, there's a sign, look. And she's arranged for them to meet with a team of branding experts nice. in Cardiff. Look at the colours. Everything we do is going to be rooted, the three A's. The 
guys are specialists in marketing and hopefully Alex and Andrew do a great job. So, impossible names. We thought about things like the port, porters, dockers, dockside, colliers, stealers. Rest large, comfy, cosy. And then down the American route, um, we've got the nook. Nook means... It's like the snug. It's, it's a secluded yeah. place. Yeah, but then there's nooky. Everybody will be coming there for sex. Cosy Lodge. Sounds good in the sentence, <laughs> you know? And what we're trying to sell, let's not forget, is rooms that are budget. And this does have that feel to it. We now have to find a way to make sure that the bed and breakfast and the cheap self-catering is all under an umbrella name that, that helps sell every single aspect of the business. The cosy and the knock have the same kind of effect on me. I'm glad we're changing the name. I'm glad we're attacking the branding. But that should go alongside with a kind of wholesale change in attitude for them. They're just painful to work with, Lisa and Ellie. I don't like warm, cosy, fuzzy feelings. As you can tell, it kind of, it just puts the prickles up. Prickle yes. Lodge. They are making real mountains out of molehills. Cozy Lodge, Comfy Lodge. Those would have been one of the ones we'd have yeah. thought of in the car and said, you know, mm. wouldn't have given it a second thought. Can we come up with another name? Or is this the name? You can come <laughs> Yeah, of course you can, yeah, it's your, it's your business. Back in Port Talbot, Alex's makeover is still running according to plan, even though the new name debate rumbles on. It's really hard. It's a really hard decision. Seeing it like that, the word cosy, I don't know, I don't know. They're absolutely getting tied up in the name, yeah. They're, they're doing exactly what I'd hoped they wouldn't do, and they're just totally in their heads. So the first idea is the cosy lodge with a bear. It just reminds me of crazy. Crazy, cosy, crazy, it's the same thing. I think they're being influenced by their own prejudice, and I think they're not really appreciating what the customer would be looking for. This bed and breakfast mountain view is turning out to be such an enormous pain in the arse. I'm slightly irate that I am spending so much mental energy on something that should be sorted out in 10 minutes flat. We need help but I don't know where we're going to get that help from. Every bit of advice I try and send their way is rejected out of hand. And so, frankly, why would I bother? They have fought me every step of the way. It's just going round and round and round, and I'm just not cut out for it. They want welcome, they want lot, they want the place, they want colours. I'd rather have the pitching back, forget the name, and just live, live with it as we were before. This is the last pass. And um, I think if we can't come to a decision now, they'll just have to stay Mountain View, because frankly, I'm not throwing any more money at the problem. In danger of missing their deadline, Ellie and Lisa have finally come to a decision of their own. Which one have they gone for? They came back to us and they said, <coughs> done you a logo where they, they'd taken their computer yeah. and they had kind of come up with Welcome Lodge, which, I mean, isn't a million miles away from where they are. No. <laughs> well, you know what? It's a shame that you've done so much work for so little gratitude. I've spent however many years in this bloody business and I know more about B&Bs and hotels than I'll ever know. All of your advice they've rejected. It gets to a point where it's just, you know, I won't bother saying anything. Just <clears throat> go on your own sweet way. They're a victim of their own stubbornness. Is the hotel inspector fighting a losing battle? Uh -huh. It's supposed to be great, we were told. I'm just finding it incredibly irritating. I was really, really looking forward to seeing these. Please, don't do this to me. Alex Polizzi has been fighting to ring the changes at Mountain View in Port Talbot. Having persuaded owners Ellie and Lisa to focus their efforts on the mountain biking market. Wow, the 
hikers will be very happy. She's boosted first impressions with a fresh new exterior and added all the touches the bikers would expect. But while Lisa and Ellie have embraced some changes, they've struggled to work with Alex's branding team in coming up with a new name. I hate to use the word cozy. <laughs> I'm just finding it incredibly irritating to have these people who actually have not been prepared to compromise or, in fact, to believe that anybody knows better than them about anything. Rejecting advice from Alex and the experts, Ellie and Lisa have decided on Welcome Lodge. The signs have finally arrived, but there's another problem. It's supposed to be great, we were told. That's not great. No, that's not great. Absolutely no way is that what we asked for. We're going to let them put them up on So what are we going to do? Carry on with this. Lisa, don't do this to me. I what? don't know. Should I, I let know. them put them up or not? I don't know. Well, they're not what we ordered. It's a completely different colour. No, they're definitely not, not what we asked for. I was really, really looking forward to seeing these. It's been on my mind day and night, 24 hours. What we thought we'd come up with was something that's, that's modern, something that, that we like, and this is not it. I think it's created bad will on both sides, and I frankly can't be bothered anymore. Reluctantly, Alex is back in town, just in time for the launch of the New Look business. I'm really dreading the next couple of hours. It's perishing out here, but I would rather be here being blown about by the wind than have to go in and face them being passive aggressive. But never let it be said that Alex Polizzi is a quitter. I'm determined to see this through to the bitter end. Hello, hello. Please? The signage, the color is wrong on the signs. It was supposed to be a gray background and it arrived being a green background. It, looks, it seems to look really nice from the outside. Are you not happy with how it looks up on the wall? Not really. OK, well, you're not happy with the signs, but I think we have to agree that this hasn't been the easiest working relationship. No! Hopefully you've got, ultimately, more or less, apart from the colour, what you've wanted. What We're they? not happy at all with it. Then at that point, you know, do, you, if you want to go and at your own expense do something different, do it. Oh, it doesn't matter, Ellie. It doesn't matter. I want us to have a good afternoon. I want you to feel like, at the end of this, we're going to get you busier. I thought initially, when we sat down and talked, and you said you were willing, you know, you were really looking forward to change, I was hoping that it was going to be not so painful for you or for me. It's not been a roller coaster. I haven't found it the easiest experience. What I don't like about change is I do not like being pushed in a direction that I don't want to go. I don't want anybody else defining me mm. or telling me what I'm going to be called or what I'm going to be. And if that, if that caused problems and made it difficult, then so be it. Alex wants Ellie and Lisa to use the launch of the newly named Welcome Lodge to impress the cream of Port Talbot's movers and shakers, from press and politicians... Welcome. Thank you. Help yourself to some food. ..to some more familiar faces. And there's the chance of winning back some old business. Despite Lisa being rather down on mountain bike riders, I've decided to persevere. I have got three gentlemen, all from the mountain biking world. Hopefully, we'll be able to give a push to this place. So one of the owners here. Uh, hi there. This place has been open nine years. They've got three properties. All of it is budget accommodation. Lisa's warming to her task. This 
is a twin room, as you can see. That photograph in the corner there is Abra Avon Beach. Check, check the beds for him. You can see Mambo, <laughs> Swansea and Mambo. So you can sit on the bed, sit yeah. on the bed. What about locking up my bike and securing my bike? We do have a purpose-built bike shed outside. We could have a group of guys wanted to come down. Could they like take the whole house? Yeah. So you'd have the whole house oh, to yourself. Yeah. And you'd be like, that's pretty good, isn't it? She's even backtracking when it comes to breakfast. Because I noticed on your website that you used to do American pancakes. We have so done. So if I wanted those yeah. when I was staying, yeah. you that would, would, that you would, would be agree, a big thing for me. Yeah, you could agree before, that yeah. beforehand if, okay. if, if you were wanting a full, full okay, breakfast. Okay, so you could speak to you about yeah. that. And, yeah. Okay, excellent. Yeah. What did you think? Yeah, I like to feel that I know the people that I'm recommending. So now when I go back and my customers are saying, we're here, we need somewhere to stay tonight, can you recommend anywhere? Yeah, I thought it was nice. Mountain bikers aren't looking for luxury, they're looking for value. So you look at the price point and you look at the rooms, you're just saying, I'm going to have a good time here, it's fine. Past and present guests are equally impressed. It is a very welcoming place and it's the idea of a lodge is nice as well. It certainly is nice to have it all freshened up. Ellie probably won't like me saying it, but the pigeons having disappeared is really nice as well. I don't know whether this was a success or a failure. I think we did everything we were asked. I don't think they've been particularly accepting of any change. Change is difficult. Conflict is difficult. Confrontation is difficult. Um, Not necessarily. For me. I hope they have the success that they want. I just don't think I've done enough to achieve that. And it isn't from lack of trying. One month later, and back in Port Talbot, the one change Alex did manage to effect has been changed back. We now know <laughs> what we are. We are Mountain View self-catering B&B. Prior to this experience, it never occurred to us to change the name. We went into this for change, but not to change the name. It's like the Emperor's New Clothes. You've always said, if, if, if something makes sense, you'll do it. If it doesn't make sense, no. You know, that's your bottom line. Yeah. I learned that from Judge Judy. <laughs> <laughs> We've created this. We're our own bosses. Why are we looking for approval from somebody else? We're not about to, you know, take on something that we don't want or don't like. If we fail, so be it. Next time, has Alex finally cracked in Ram's Bottom? This is chaos back here, my goodness. With a family business in danger of falling apart. I've been telling her for weeks I'm sick of being here now. I just want to get rid of the place, just too much work. If you want a job doing right, I'll do it yourself. That's bollocks though, Donnie. Now they've been scared into submission, you can be too, with an epic horror from the master of the genre, Pierce Brosnan and Melissa George star in Stephen King's Bag of Bones, next tonight on Channel 5.